Before 2009, Kansas City hardly recycled any of their glass waste. The average person uses nearly 80 pounds of glass each year. This glass can be recycled over and over again. But most of it goes to the landfill. When we recycle glass, it means less material goes into our landfills. Making new glass out of recycled glass saves raw materials like sand and keeps us from having to mine for new materials. Since glass melts at a lower temperature than raw materials, using recycled glass to make new glass uses 30% less energy. Finally, using recycled glass cleans up our air. Every ton of recycled glass used means that we reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 600 pounds. To tell the story of how Ripple Glass solved Kansas City's glass recycling problem, we first have to tell you about its founder, Boulevard Brewing Company. A Kansas City brewery, Boulevard Brewing Company was looking to reduce their waste. Boulevard found that there was no local option to recycle their glass waste, even though there were local manufacturers that could use recycled glass to make their products. Boulevard also found that for waste glass to be reused by a manufacturer, there had to be a processor that cleaned the glass of things like paper, metals, and plastics. This processing facility did not exist in Kansas City. And because there was no processor available, not very much glass was being collected for recycling in Kansas City. Boulevard got tired of being part of the problem and joined local businesses and community organizations to start Ripple Glass in 2009. Ripple Glass did two things at the same time. It created a collection network for glass in Kansas City and built a processing facility to clean the glass into what we call Furnace Ready Cullet. Before we take a tour of this processing facility, let's show you how Ripple collects and transports glass for recycling. In late 2009, big purple bins began to appear in parking lots throughout Kansas City. Thanks to local businesses who volunteer as hosts, Residents and businesses began to fill these bins with beer bottles, wine bottles, pickle jars, and all sizes and colors of glass. When a bin gets full, Ripple sends a truck to pick it up and deliver the glass to our processing facility. Because businesses like bars and restaurants use a lot of glass, Ripple started a commercial recycling program for businesses. Purple roll carts are set behind businesses and picked up weekly. And because Kansas City wasn't the only community in the area to suffer from the lack of processing facility, Ripple started accepting recycled glass containers from cities and towns in surrounding states. Remember, collecting used glass was no good without a facility to process it and make it into furnace-ready cullet. So, Ripple Glass built a facility to do just that. Let's take a look. When recycled glass arrives at the facility, it's weighed and dumped into outdoor storage areas. Processing the glass begins when a loader scoops it up and drops it into a hopper, about one ton at a time. The glass flows onto a conveyor belt and into the facility, where magnets and the human eye are used to remove non-glass items like bags, boxes, and cans. The glass is then fed into a crusher and broken into small pieces. It then passes through a dryer to remove moisture from the labels and a delabeling machine that uses paddles to gently remove the labels. Once the labels are removed, the glass is ready for optical sorting. This computer-driven machine uses beams of light to find items that are not glass. Every second, 15 bottles or jars run past this amazing machine. When a non-glass item is spotted, the machine fires a strong pulse of air to reject it. The glass then moves on to another optical sorter programmed to look for colors. This machine looks for brown or amber glass. Once again, when it sees a piece of amber glass, it fires a strong puff of air to separate it from the rest of the glass. This amber glass is used to make new glass bottles, including those used by Boulevard Brewing Company. The remaining glass is then fed into a machine that crushes it down to the size of coarse sand. We call this Furnace Ready Cullet. Each day, trucks are filled with this cullet and delivered to a nearby manufacturer, where the cullet is used to make fiberglass insulation, 
helping to create more energy efficient homes and buildings. Since Ripple Glass appeared on the scene, KC's glass recycling rate has climbed from 3% to 20% and continues to grow. We've made a lot of progress, but with your help, we can do much more. If you haven't started recycling your glass, visit our website to find a location near you. If you're already recycling, thank you. Please help us spread the word to your friends, family, and coworkers. More recycled glass means a better, cleaner, brighter future for all of us. Even a small act can create a big ripple. Every bottle counts.